Hi guys, my name is Michaela, and you are watching Fun Size Style. For today's video, I have yet another Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box unboxing. If you're unfamiliar with Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box, you're also unfamiliar with Fun Size Style because I'm a huge fan of Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box, and if you've been around for almost any length of time, you would know that. Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box is a $21 a month subscription service featured around an entire makeup look. So each month they have a different makeup look theme and they include products in that box to create that month's makeup tutorial slash theme. You saw my last Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box unboxing was the theme was Blooming Bronze. They included products to create a Blooming Bronze makeup tutorial and then I did a separate video of that Blooming Bronze makeup tutorial. So this is the second to last Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box of 2018 and I'm finally caught, then I will finally be caught up on 2018 boxes. So after this one there will only be one more and I'm so excited to finally move on to 2019 boxes. As I mentioned, Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box is $21 a month. However, they have different payment plans um, depending on how often you want to receive the boxes. But the most affordable plan is the annual plan and that is $21 a month. Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box also offers free worldwide shipping. So I've done many of these unboxings so we're just going to go ahead and get right on into this and if you have any other questions about it be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them or you can check out my Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box playlist. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So when you open it up you'll see the card and then the products inside. Oh no. I'm already seeing some things I don't like. Okay, so since I'm behind on these boxes, this is no longer valid, but it came with a coupon for 30% off my next order. They also have an online store, so this is has nothing to do with their monthly box. It's for their online store. Like it mentions, this discount offer excludes monthly subscription box and gift cards. This expired in December of 2018, but I don't really shop on their store anyways, so it doesn't matter. So this box theme is After Midnight, and I believe this was the November 2018 theme. This card includes all the products, names, and brands, and the price, the retail price of these products. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. The first product that I pulled out of my Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box After Midnight box. Okay, this is by the brand Clio, and this is the waterproof pen liner in the shade Kill Black by the brand Clio. I'm not going to open this because I'm actually going to save this for someone because as you guys know I hate eyeliner with my small eyelids. It really takes away from the eyeshadow and I much prefer eyeshadow over eyeliner and like I said the eyeliner just kind of overpowers my eyeshadow and you can't see it that well. Plus eyeliner is just really difficult for me to apply. I don't have a steady enough hand. So I'm going to go ahead and save this for somebody and as you guys know eyeliner and false lashes are the two things that I exempt myself from when I do these Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box makeup tutorials. Like, So I'll be doing an after midnight makeup tutorial based on using the products that are in this box. But I do make two exceptions that I will never do because I dislike them that much and that is false eyelashes and eyeliner. So you guys are aware if you've never seen one of those tutorials. So that's kind of a bummer product for me, but this product retails for $13.50. The next product I pull out of my Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box is the Skinny Eyebrow Pencil by the brand Glam 21. And this is in the shade Dud Charcoal. I'm very, very nervous because this looks way too dark for my eyebrows. Way, way, way too dark. Maybe that's what they're going for though because the theme is after midnight and when I went on Instagram to see like people's looks for this box, it is pretty dark so maybe they're meant for our brows to be darker than our natural brows are. I'm not really sure but I pretty much think that this will be too dark. But I have received a Glam 21 product in a previous Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. It was a mascara and, and it was alright so we'll see. I like how skinny it is because it makes for a really precise application. Okay so here is the color 
of the eyebrow pencil. If I if I do it really lightly, I think I could make it work, but it definitely wouldn't be my everyday eyebrow pencil, but I would definitely utilize it for the after midnight makeup tutorial. This eyebrow pencil retails for $13.80. These are really weird prices, this box. I'm not sure, but they're just the retail prices. Speaking of products I will exempt myself from, I didn't even plan this, but here is a pair of false eyelashes, and this is by the brand Koki Professional, and it just says they're the eyelashes. These are the FL641 lashes. It says adhesive included, quick and easy, and reusable. As you guys know, we went over this whole false lash thing, not my favorite. Never ever wear them. Don't have a steady enough hand to apply them, so I will be giving this away to someone as well. So this is a very disappointing box this month, and it's going to be challenging to create the after midnight look when I can't when I just can't even use these two products. I mean, I I can if you know what I mean, but like I won't. This is a bummer box so far. The Koki Cosmetics lashes retail for seven dollars. From the card, I could tell that they were going for a blue eyeshadow, and they included this blue eyeshadow, but I couldn't see what brand it is on the packaging, so it says here on the card that it's by the brand Eddie Funkhauser. Never heard of it in my whole life, but it looks like a nice blue shadow and perfect for this dark after midnight blue theme that they're going for, so I was kind of hoping they would include a quad because I shared a quad because there's really not much like makeup to this box because like the false eyelashes like that wouldn't really add any color or specific look to the theme I feel like they're going for. And I don't know I just feel like there really isn't much to this look like it's I have to use a ton of my own products. Just like I thought it comes out more of like a charcoal gray color rather than blue which is going to make this even more challenging to utilize. I'm really going to have to put my thinking cap on on creativity as to how I'm going to make this look successful because there's only one other product in this box and that's it. So I just feel like there really isn't many different products to work with for this look. I'm going to have to use a lot of my own products, mostly my own products for this look. So I'm going to have to see if I had some other eyeshadow that would go with this look. I won't expect much from this since I'm assuming it's, you know, it's not all that pigmented and it's not, I feel like it won't blend well, but We'll see. It might be amazing for this look. Who knows, but I'm going to definitely have to dig out some of my own eyeshadow. We'll make it work like we always do for these looks, and then I'm like, wow, look what I did. It challenges me to try new looks, work with different kinds of products than I'm used to. So This eyeshadow retails for $8.49. The last product in my After Midnight Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box is by the brand Hikari Cosmetics, and... It looks like this is a lipstick in the shade Dune. Just a basic black packaging with the Hikari logo on it. It looks much brighter on camera per usual, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. So here is the lipstick. It's much more orangey than I thought they were going for. I was looking at their Instagram from previous people that created this after midnight look using the products in this box like you were supposed to back in November of 2018. So that is everything in my After Midnight Sweet Sparkle Beauty box. It was a very disappointing box for me for this theme. I'm just not incredibly impressed with the products. The only ones that I'm kind of tolerant for with is the lipstick, the eyebrow pencil, and the eyeshadow is iffy. We'll see how it performs, but as you guys know, I'm not a fan of false eyelashes and also eyeliner. It was a really bummy box for me for this theme, but we'll go ahead and create this after midnight makeup tutorial and see how everything except for the eyelashes and liner performs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Even though this individual box is no longer available anymore, I will link all the products individually down below in case you're interested in purchasing any of these products and, re and creating this after midnight makeup tutorial with me. But go ahead and subscribe to Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box if you'd like to receive any of these 
any of the current boxes coming out this year. It's a really great subscription overall. No matter what subscription you receive, it can be a hit or miss, but overall, I've loved Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box, and it's one of my favorite subscriptions. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you are subscribed to Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box or if you're thinking about it, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!